Well, it started with an introduction from the CEO of Mana Wantukura Women's Resource Centre, June Oscar, and her colleague, Emily Carter. Um, we were introduced by a mutual friend who thought that what the community was looking for and the challenges that they faced was something that Royal Far West might be able to, to help with and support. When we came to Royal Far West probably four or five years ago, the range of services that Royal Far West had for children was what we wanted in our community. We started by um, almost just having conversations and starting to build understanding in a, a common language. Um, and then we, we built on that with a bit more structured, what we call capacity building, which is essentially another way of saying professional development. So working with professional groups that actually are around the child, like teachers, early educators, health professionals, to upskill them on how to support kids with, with developmental challenges. We're trying to show people that the challenging behaviours that they're seeing in the kids is actually coming from these underlying biological changes and so it's not the kids just being naughty. It really is about shifting how we interact with them so that they're able to then feel safe, feel calm, control their behaviour a little bit better and then learn. We've never worked in a community as remote as Fitzroy Valley communities. We've just, we've just taken a completely different approach to it. Rather than going in as a service provider or trying to, trying to deliver a specific thing, we've actually built um, a relationship that's completely flexible, completely responding to community needs and, and really adaptive. One of the benefits of going into community very regularly is we are now familiar faces there. And so when we're there in the community, people go, oh, hey, you guys are back and that's so fantastic. And, oh, can you come in and, you know, give us some advice about this? What we're learning from Rural Far West, you know, the partnership, that we want to spread that information to, to the wider um, service providers. How can we help the community wrap around a generation um, and achieve change for that generation and potentially have kind of flow on effects to, to the broader community and, and that long-term kind of health and wellbeing of that community? It was really nice to see A, the change that can happen and then B, just how they're grabbing the, the information with two hands and running with it. Show people what's possible yeah. Yeah. and create a sense of hope. Thank you, Royal Farm.